All right, students, this is um, a little tutorial to help you do the second part of this week's assignment. So um, as you can see, I've already drawn a block with a hole in it. And what we're going to do is go directly to the IDW function. Because we don't need to do a, for this assignment, this part, we do not need to do an assembly file, nor would we need to do a presentation file. Right, so as before, here's your drawing sheet. And another thing we're gonna, I'm going to show you is how to populate the uh, title block for those of you that missed it in the previous assignment. Just click on base, and this time we're going to try to find the block file if it doesn't automatically show up. Double click on it, and if you notice, it automatically appears right in here. So I'm just going to click there. And then automatically it goes to the projected. So I'm going to go to the top view, go to the right side view, and I'm also going to do the isometric view. Just right click, hit create, and it automatically creates all three views, including the hidden lines for the hole that goes all the way through. What I want to do now is go ahead and right click the isometric view, say edit view, and I want to change this to shaded so that it becomes shaded. Okay. Next thing to do is go to annotate, the same thing that you did when you were trying to do your balloons and your parts list. This time we're just going to go to dimension. So I'm going to choose this point and this point. I could have also chosen a line. And if you notice here, it gives you a pop-up window so you can add other features in there or text. These things that are less than or greater than um, symbols are the actual um, actual values for the dimension. And in here we could add in like diameter symbols, counter bores, counter sinks, depths, all kinds of symbols in here. But for this we don't need to do that. So hit OK. I can also do a dimension of that line. Instead of doing the points I could do the line itself. and Hit OK. And for the width I'm going to choose that and hit OK. Just to zoom in, you can see the different features there. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and add some um, center lines. So, if you go here in the middle, you'll see a center line bisector. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this line and this line. Choose this line and this line. Okay. And also, what I want to do is put a center mark right on our circle. For those of you who've used AutoCAD in the past, you know that that takes considerable time to have to change the, the line type and all that stuff. All right. Now, what I want to do is add one more dimension. And I could either use the dimension command or I could use the hole and thread. What I'm going to do is use the dimension command. And this time, I'm going to select the hole. And let's go ahead and zoom in after I hit OK. You can see it automatically put in the diameter symbol because that's how it was drawn as a circle. Now if I want to edit that, hit Escape out of the Dimension command and then just double click on the actual dimension. Remember what I was telling you about, you can add other information here. here. So if I hit the space and type in the word through, that would give me extra text in there. And so for manufacturing purposes, we can use the word through even though it's not spelled correctly um, that's a standard way of um, using an abbreviation for the word through that's, even though they can see that with the hidden lines it helps the whoever's building the part um, an idea uh, gives them an idea that the hole goes all the way through okay last but not least is just to put some dimensions on here and so that we get where the hole is located and here as well and we can put some text underneath the top underneath this view just by clicking the text function let's create a little window here and in in this thing I can go ahead and center I'm gonna do my maximum font size here and I'm gonna type in block and underneath that, 
I'm going to go to half the size. And I'm going to say scale full. That just means it's a one-to-one -one scale. So basically, it could once they build the block, they can put it right on your drawing sheet, and it should look exactly the same. And just hit OK. Now if I escape out of the text command, I can actually move this around, make it look nicer. I can put another text here. Again, I'm going to center everything up. I maximize the font size and say block isometric view. Then I can go ahead and do the same thing I did before. Scale full. Or one to one. Either way. Okay. Now, how do we populate the title block? Well, it's very easy. If you go escape out of the text command, go to the ANSI large right here, and double click on the field text. You'll get this pop-up window. And if we go to where it says author, you'll see that this icon up here that says I properties, just like we did when you um, added the properties to your materials or your part files. Go under summary, and under the title, we want to call this thing block. And if you want to, you could do it in all caps. Change you as the author. And then under project, part number will be this actual drawing number for this. So we'll call this week 12 assignment part 2. I'm going to change the designer to me. Engineer to me. And then in here I'm going to say released checked by me with the check date engineer it approved by me the engineer approved date and let's say I'm also the builder and hit OK click on apply click on close and you'll notice that all this stuff hit OK all this stuff is filled in for you so then what you'll do is you'll file save as and I'm gonna call this block drawing. In this case, I already had drawn one, but I'm gonna draw, resave it over top of that. Okay. And when you go to Blackboard, you're gonna click on the Week 12 Assignment Part Two. And this time, you don't need to worry about a zip folder because it's only two files. But you need to make sure that you browse for local file and you find block and browse for local file one more time and find block drawing and then just click on submit well, I hope that helps you with this week's second half of the assignment um, I wish you good luck and I'll see you next class